For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that they want you to find the normal force, shear force and moment at point C. So as you can see, in B you have a vertical reaction and a horizontal reaction. So what you want to do is you want to use A. Which means that when you use the method of sections, you're going to cut it at C to the left. We also have a distributed load over here and we got to replace for a regular loading. So to replace this for a regular loading, we know that the distributed force is 3 kilopounds per foot. And we know that it has a distance of 6 feet. So let me erase. The distributed load and we're going to replace it with a force that you know that it when it's a rectangular distributed load it acts right at the middle f of y and you know that the distributed load is 3 kilopounds per foot so it's 3 times 6 which is 18 kilopounds keep acting right at the middle because it's a rectangular distributed load so that being said now what we're going to do is we're going to find a y. Find a y. So to find a y, we're going to do the sum of the moments at b is equal to zero. Let's assume going clockwise is positive. So you know that a y creates a positive moment times nine feet because a from a to b there's nine feet, four point five plus four point five minus f of y which we just found times 12 and that is equal to 0 we have f of y when we plug it in it's 18 keep and we solve for a y you get that a y is equal to 24 keep so now that we have all the forces to the left which is a section that we're going to use we can find our forces a moment so this is C this is the section inside the dotted line that I drew we have a Y a Y right here at 4.5 feet from here to here is 4.5 feet and the rest is 6 feet and we have F of Y right here at half of six which will be three feet from here to here is three feet <clears throat> so that being said we know we have a shear moment bc a normal moment nc i mean a normal force and a shear force no moments and a moment mc you know that f of y say think keep and a y is 24 keep uh, keep okay I assume the share force was going down because as you can see 18 is smaller than 24 so I figured yeah it's gonna be coming down to balance this whole thing out now that being said you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero I am assuming this orientation of the x y axis so you know that minus f of y, which is the force that replaces the distributed loading, minus the shear force plus a y is equal to zero. We know f of y, we found it already, we know a y, so you plug them in and you solve for the shear force, and you get that the shear force is equal to six keep kilopounds. You know that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. The only force in the x is the normal force. So the normal force is equal to zero. And last but not least, assuming clockwise is positive, we know that the sum of the moments at c is equal to zero. So mc plus the moment created by a y, which is clockwise moment a y times 4.5 because from c to a y is 4.5 feet minus f of y times 7.5 because you know that it's right in the half of the six 
feet segment so this is 3 feet plus 4.5 is 7.5 feet and all of this is equal to 0 so when you solve for MC because you already know a y and f of y when you solve for MC you get that MC is equal to 27 kip per foot and it's positive so it's clockwise so final answer for the share final answer for the normal force and final answer for the moment at C please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you